This is a setup for showing following error on CNC machines. CNC machines such as Lay's need to keep following error to a minimum. Following error is the difference between the commander position and the axle position. In cutting threads on a CNC lathe, the machine moves a certain amount on the z-axis for every spindle revolution. So the spindle has an encoder on it and the control calculates how much to move the z-axis depending on what the encoder reports to the control. If the z-axis cannot keep up with the spindle, then this means the following error is too much. The following error comes from both mechanical and electronic reasons. So, in this setup here, I don't have much mechanical to go wrong. I've just got a, an, an encoder and a servo motor, a little differential, and another encoder. Over here I have a gecko drive, and on the proto board there, I have a chip that converts the encoder pulses from the encoder that's on the left into step and direction for the gecko servo end. So right now the encoder resolution on both the motor and the one on the left are set at 2,000 pulses per revolution. And I calculated the following error on this thing to be about two pulses. So that means when I start to turn the encoder on the left, two pulses later the servo motor starts to spin. So I'll show that it's really basically no error at all, at least not significant, because when I turn this shaft on the left, the center part of the differential just sits still. When the encoder comes off, you can see that it now moves around. As soon as I put the encoder back on, it basically sits still. So from another angle, you can see that it really hardly moves. The shaking that you see is on that drill is more a result of my shaky fingers and the gear teeth on the little differential than it is anything in the system. So you can see that electronically this thing has no problem keeping up with what's going on. And mechanically no problem because there's really not much inertia in that little servo motor. So, anyway, that's it.